In this video, you are going to see two laptops, Lenovo Yoga Book 9i and Asus Pro Art Studio Boot. First, have a look at their official. <laughs> Creativity happens when we look at things from different perspectives. When we challenge what we already see and know and take one step beyond to capture the intangible and make the impossible possible. It's not until we see with our own eyes how our lives, our future, can be reshaped and revolutionized. Then we begin to break down the walls to overcome the boundaries to realize a vision that propels humanity to be something more. Creativity pushes us to the extremes, sets our minds running at full throttle. When we team it up with a mission to empower and inspire the next generation, it emerges from the need to share and connect better. When we dial up our imagination and take innovation up a notch, to create meaningful experiences that touch our lives. That's what we mean by creativity. Now, it's time to discover yours. Well, both of them are looking exciting, but here we will talk about Asus 3D laptop, the glasses-free OLED. Let's have a look at this. The world's first glasses-free 3D OLED laptop tech, and I checked out a customized sample with the 30 series CPU and GPU disabled. So the ASUS ProArt Studio Book 16 is aimed primarily at creative pros, people who can make use of that 3D display for design work, although there's obvious entertainment opportunities as well. One of the only obvious design changes for this 2023 model is the positioning of the hinge. So now you've got a proper jutting arse. This redesign apparently allows for improved heat dissipation and it does look quite funky as well. And that screen does lie all the way at flat, full 180 degree hinge. Around back you've got a couple of big old vents to help again expel all of that nasty hot air. And as far as your I.O. ports are concerned, no real changes there over the previous generation. You connect your power right here, you've got an edge. Swing the laptop around, you'll see you've got yourself a full-sized USB port, a headphone jack, and an SD memory card slot. Anyhow, let's turn our attention now to the star of the show, the 16-inch 3.2K OLED display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Now you'll notice that the Pro Art Studio Book 16 sports a dual camera array, both cameras housed here above that mighty display. These are used to track your eyes, but you've also got other tech packed in here, including lenticular lenses, which are positioned in front of every sub-pixel of that display. Explain. When you sit in front of the ProArt Studio Book 16, you only have to wait a few seconds at most for that 3D effect to kick into life. Images leap right out at your face, as well as sinking into that display. And you can also adjust the focal length at any point as well, just using a little slider like so, so those images don't feel like they're quite gonna smack you right in the gob if you want a more subtle effect. The likes of Steam VR is supported by Spatial Vision and ASUS is even hoping that movie studios will start developing content expressly for this platform. And 3D content can be retroactively fitted to work with Spatial Vision but it's not quite as impressive an effect as stuff that's actually designed to work with it. And when you are enjoying some 3D content, you can at any point toggle it between 3D and 2D, at which point the panel just acts exactly like a standard OLED display. 
And what an absolutely gorgeous display it is as well. You've got a 3200 by 2000 pixel resolution finish here. So nice, crisp, detail packed images. And as you'd expect from an OLED panel, deep blacks, accurate color reproduction, full HDR support here as well. Thanks for that nice sharp contrast. And it maxes out at 120 hertz as well. So ideal for creative content, good bit of gaming, all that good stuff. This 2023 model of the ProArt StudioBook 16 also sports a larger 16 by 10 aspect ratio touchpad to match that screen. And as you can see, this now comes with integrated mouse buttons as well, rather than separate efforts. But you've got haptic feedbacks, you know exactly when you are pushing on those. And you've also got MPP 2.0 stylus support on that touchpad if you want to get all sketchy. And yes, that glorious ASUS dial is also back in action as well. Mechanically, it hasn't changed at all over the previous generation. You can still twiddle and poke as merrily as you like. And this can be used to control pretty much all of your favorite apps now as well. So for instance, you can use it for the media controls. Or if you browse on the internet, you can even use it to cycle through all of your open tabs or jump directly into your favorite tab. You can even use it, for instance, to control individual features here on YouTube. So you can skim through a timeline, you can change the playback speed. So that right there in a lovely little nutshell is the fresh new ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 rocking that innovative 3D tech courtesy of ASUS's Spatial Vision. Here are the all features which ProArt StudioBook will have. In it, there is an Intel Core HX series CPU and GeForce RTX laptop GPU. There will be a max switch and hinge on I already told you HDMI 2.1 and SD Express 7.0. Now it is the time to go to the Lenovo Yoga Book 9i. As you can see from the picture, the graphics are splendid. So let's have a look what it contains. <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Beck. And I'm Lee Highsmith. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at Lenovo's new YogaBook 9i. So it's built on Intel's latest 13 generation Evo platform and features Windows 11. It's made out of an aluminum CNC unibody chassis and tidal teal, and it measures under 16 millimeters and slightly under three pounds or 1.35 kilograms. So you'll find three USB-C ports that are running Thunderbolt 4 and a camera privacy switch. One of the big features is this speaker bar that has four Bowers and Wilkins speakers with Dolby Atmos. The biggest news is it's the world's first full-size dual display OLED PC. So two 13.3 inch OLED displays, 2.8K resolution, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, and Dolby Vision HDR is supported as well, along with 100% DCI-P3 color. So it comes with a digital pen and a stand that enables its unique modes that Kevin is going to take you through. All right, here we go. So as Lee said, we've got dual screens. Now what do you do with it? Let's start in this standard mode here. I've got a web browser up on my bottom screen, obviously not taking advantage of my full dual screen capability. So I'm going to grab hold of this and tap that icon right there, send it up to the top. Okay, it's at the top now, but I'm still not taking advantage of both of my screens. All I have to do is reach out with a five finger tap, tap that, and now I've got full waterfall browsing across both screens. Now, let's say, send that back, and I need to do something productive. Like, I wanna have a browser on one screen, I wanna have a productivity app on the other. Simply take it, turn it sideways, set it back down, and now I've got my browser on the left, and I'll just bring up Word on the right here. And I can certainly use this with the keyboard in this mode attached to the stand. I can also take my keyboard away and type remotely. Now, let's say I wanna use this in mini laptop mode or clamshell mode. Say I'm on a plane and I'm a little more restricted on space. I'll simply take it. I will send my applications away and I can do one of two things. If I wanna type, I can simply reach out with eight fingers, tap the screen. I get an on-screen keyboard with a couple of widgets at the top and I can do editing, typing, whatever I need to do. If I need a touchpad virtually, I can simply take the same eight fingers, slide my keyboard to the top, and now I have a touchpad that lets me move my mouse wherever I need to. I'm gonna dismiss that, and uh, the last thing that is one of my favorites is I can physically take the keyboard, and there are magnets embedded in this, put it on the screen, it is then detected as a keyboard, brings up my same widgets, I can scroll through these, weather, email, whatever I wanna do, and 
Same method of access to a touchpad. I simply slide that up and I get my touchpad and move my mouse where I want. Lastly, but not leastly, if you will hand me that pen, Lee, is over here on the right-hand side, I've got a simple icon showing a note-taking area. I go new note, I write a note to myself, remember to buy milk, and I hit save, and it will automatically send that as a sticky note to my lock screen so that it's there the next time when I open the system. So when I'm ready to go, ready to go home, simply take that off, close the system, reattach the stand magnet, or the keyboard to the stand magnetically, fold it up, stow my pen, and I am ready to go. And there we have it, the Yoga Book 9i. Thank you all very much. Thanks. So that's all from this video. If you have any question, please write mention in the comment and I will definitely reply you for any query you have. And keep watching my channel. Please subscribe so that I can give you more and more information about the latest technology. Thank you.